Rob in the back left first. I didn't know. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, uh, hi, Governor uh, and Kevin. Um, uh, question for you. I've seen all the events you've done. You seem to have been carrying a pretty big smile and pretty emotional during this. I'm wondering if you could answer how much more comfortable you feel around the organization now. Um, and also, um, when it comes to the NHL, do you consider Pittsburgh your home? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the second question. Yes, I, I, yes, I do, and I always did. Uh, there was no question about it. When you ask anybody, I think I would say in the world or in Czech or in Europe, and when you say that you're younger, younger, they're going to say Pittsburgh Penguins, no matter you know, where I played after that. So, And uh, I already forget the first part of the question, or what was it? How, how much more comfortable are you around Pittsburgh and the organization now compared to maybe the last, I don't know, or, uh, Yeah, it's, it's totally different for sure. But don't forget, I was playing for other organization last few years, so, and I was in Czech and, and when Kevin, I would say at Fulburg, when he came to Klarno, and he, you know, he told me the idea what Penguins and Kevin wanted to do, you know, that's I, I think it was a, that was a start to take up with something else. Okay. Jarmir, uh, played until you were 45 in the National Hockey League. You've gotten to interact a little bit with Sid and Latang and Gino, 36, 37. Do you look at those guys, get to talk to those guys, know those guys? see how they prepare, do you look at them and say, wow, these guys can do this for another five, six, seven years like, like I did? Well, it, you know, I was talking and I was happy to talk to, so I was sitting next to Sid, so, you know, I always love to study the game. And, uh, you know, I wanna, and you mentioned it, uh, I've, the last time I played was probably six, six years ago, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. And I wanted to know how the game has changed, you know, and who was, you know, who else gonna ask? You know, Sid knows the most. He played, you know, since 2005. He played till now, so he could feel the difference. And I asked him a little bit. Of course, the game will get a little bit quicker, but you know, he he adapted very well. You know, he probably had the best season he had, and uh, you know, and I, I'm happy for him. And I, I think he can play for other, you know, five six years if he really wanted to. And I always felt that the city is the guy who, you know, who wanted to be the best. He you know, he wanna be tomorrow better than he is today. And that's what you need if you wanna play long. Seth right here. Well, Yarmir, um I know you're very busy with your team in Cladno, yeah. but um, now that you've had this event here in Pittsburgh, could you envision yourself or see yourself having a more regular presence with the Penguins for things like alumni games or Stanley Cup reunions, anything like that? Well, you know, first I, I have to retire from playing. You know, that's 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 the first steps, and you know I'm I'm getting there pretty soon. You know, there's no question about it. And uh, you know, we I'm going home on Wednesday, so we're gonna have a you know some talk about, about that and see what's what's gonna happen. But you know, I'm gonna finish the season this year, and, and I'm gonna see what's gonna happen next year. Taylor, hey, yeah, Mary, uh, you've talked a lot about that first time you saw Mario when you were 15. What would 15 year old Yager think about? You know the first that your banner is going to be hanging next to his forever, one day. Well, you know I'm getting that question. But, you know, I, I never really played for anything but love uh, since I was a small kid. I, I never really paid attention about you know what I can do, or what I can accomplish, what I can win. Uh, that was never in my mind. So. Not to retire in the jersey, that was never in my mind. And, uh, you know, and I just always play for love and I always love the game and I still do. You know, it's it's hard to compete uh, in my age, but I still love the game. And, uh, you know, you're right, uh, you know, when, uh, when I saw Mario first time on TV and, and uh, since that day, I want to be like him. And, uh, and, uh, him and all those guys from 90s, uh, and they they don't probably know about it, but they 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 make me the way I am. Not only on the ice, but on the ice also. So they they had a big effect, you know, to what what I am right now. You know, I was 18 years old, and I spent so much time with them. My parents weren't here, so uh, 
No, they were the guys. So if something wrong with me, you gotta look at them. <laughs> yeah, Yarmar, just what have these past few days been like for you coming back to Pittsburgh? And I know you said the other night, you don't necessarily love, you know, this being in the spotlight as much, but just what does it mean to you having this sort of welcome and reception back? Well, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, it, it's great. It, you know, first I was excited, I'm tired, I'm getting tired, no question about it, I'm tired right now. Uh, you know, plus the jet lag, and you know, you cannot really sleep because you're thinking what's gonna happen, and you know, you're thinking about the speech also, it's not easy, and you, you know, you don't want to forget anybody, and uh, I know it's gonna be kind of different because I never spoke out of, of 20,000 people, so it might be a little bit strange, and. But, you know, I'm excited, but I'm also I'm tired. <laughs> Mark on the right. Yeah, because uh, coming back, has, have you seen any people or places that have triggered any memories that maybe have slipped your mind since then? I saw you. <laughs> 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 I saw Dave here. <laughs> I saw some guys. Uh, but yes, uh, you know, the city didn't change much, you know. Uh, and. Uh, of course, when I played, it was Civic Arena, I played the Civic Arena, but when I played for other teams, I already played the new building. You know, I had a chance to, to see a lot of guys. You know, a lot of guys played, you know, I mean, work for in the organization. Some of them work for other organizations. So I, so I had a, some of them, I had a chance to see them. The others, I didn't see them for 20 years. So it, it was, that's something special, you know, that's the, and also, uh, when I told my mother she's coming, you know, she didn't want to go actually. You know, she's 78, she was kind of afraid of the flight. It's a long flight, but uh, even she admitted, you know, that's the you know, that's the best thing that happened to her. She's so happy, so I'm glad for her too. Yeah. Yarmir, what, what will it mean to you to hear the cheers from the fans today? Well, we have to wait first. To... <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lot of boost lately, <laughs> but I'm, uh, it's understandable. I was playing for you know for a different team, but uh, you know it's it's gonna mean a lot. You know? I, I don't know how my body gonna react. It you know maybe you should ask me after after the ceremony. But you know it's just it's like extra bonus. And you know? I always said it's, it's it's huge. You know it just you play the game. You know with love. You play it to make you happy. But this is extra bonus. It's just. When you, when you do your job and you, you do job, you know, you love to do and then you see the appreciation from the other people, that's, that's something that not many people can feel it or understand. Tom, right? Hey, um, just last night, I, you got, I know you had a dinner with a lot of your old people, old teammates, you know, people, you got to spend some time with Mario. When was the last time you guys got to really sit down like that and what did it mean to kind of reconnect with him, do like that? Well, last time I was, uh, I was sitting next to Ronnie and Mario and, uh, you know, I think it was when I was in Florida, there was a ceremony on the top 100 guys in NHL. So that's the last time I saw them, both of them. Oh, Ronnie actually, I saw him after, but uh, with Mario, it was the last time I, I, I saw Mario. And uh, wife Natalie was there too, so you know, we had a pretty good talk. You know, we had a chance, we had a time to, to, to do it. So, but it was, it, it was nice, it was very nice. Yamir, after the trade in 2001, since then, uh, was there ever a moment where you wondered if a day like this would come where you would be back and fold with the Penguins? I, you know what, I, I never thought about it, you know, about the retiring the jersey or any trophies. I said that before, so, you know, I, I don't know how to answer this question. Uh, you know, uh, it was a sad day for me uh, in 2001. And I explained it two days ago to the to our fans what really happened there, and uh, you know I think it was you know we just went a different ways both both teams. Then after you know I spent some time in other teams in, in KHL, I had a chance to come back. There was a big talk about I'm coming back to to, to Pittsburgh, but uh, you know. When I was coming back from KHL, I still felt like I'm good enough player to to play more than one year, you know, or two years. I've, I I had a really good confidence about myself, and you know? I was playing against top guys in at the World Championships, and uh, I did pretty good. So uh, I wanted to come back to NHL, not only just the last year, and, and you know, I wanna 
I want to go to the team when I'm going to have a fair chance to to play a lot. And uh, and, and that year was, I think it was 2011, you know, and the, the Penguins had a, such a great team. And, uh, and uh, Sid had a, his line and guys who loves to play <coughs> with. And uh, Gino had a, his line. And I felt like, you know, I would play probably third and fourth line. And I, I felt like I wouldn't get a fair chance to show what I can do. And uh, where the opportunity come in Philadelphia, where they, you know, Carter and Richards, they got traded and new guys came. I felt this is the this is the perfect fit for me, you know. And I, I wasn't thinking about, you know, I'm coming home to Pittsburgh. I was, I, I don't know if I would say I was selfish, but I was thinking about myself because I still love the game. I wanted to prove I can, I st I'm still a good player. Maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. Maybe if I come here, you know, it, the celebration would be bigger. Maybe I would be sitting right next to Kevin every day, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I love that game, so, you know, I, I took the chance and, you know, hopefully one day, you know, the, the, well, I think it's already happened, you know, we cross again and we are together. Rich in the back. Yager, when you left here, was it always difficult to come back and play against this team when you're playing for other teams? And to follow up on that, do you regret not coming back and playing for the Penguins? I was just answering it. Uh, I, I don't know if I call it selfish, but I, I love the game too much. I wanted to play more than one year. And I felt like if I come to Pittsburgh, I'm going to play only one year. And I still believe in my, you know, my hockey, hockey sets and the hockey talent. So I felt like I can, I can play more. And I, I did. I played, you know, extra seven years in NHL. And, uh, and, you know, it was kind of strange to play to play in, in Pittsburgh and when the, the fans booing at you, but I understood, you know, I had no problem with that, you know, you know, uh, and let's, let's close the gap, it's just, you know, we are done, it's already happened. I'm not mm -hmm. coming, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna play against Penguins anymore, so. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no boost today, I'll give you yeah. <laughs> We have a few more, Paul right here. Yeah, uh, since you've played for so long, this is the stage that's just the beginning for you. I'm sure there'll be calls down the road from the Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, a bunch of things uh, being done in your honor and check in, at the NHL level. I wonder how you feel about that. Is that, uh, is, is that something you're emotional about? Is that something you're looking forward to? Uh, I, I hope not. Uh, you know, I just, I never thought I'm the guy who's gonna cry if, if I'm gonna talk about something. Uh, I always laugh, so I, I, I hope today I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna have a lot of laughs. But, uh, you know, you mentioned it, Hall of Fame, maybe it's gonna happen pretty soon, I, I don't know. You know, it's up to somebody else. But I'm still active player, don't forget, I'm still active player. <laughs> Justin? You know, Ramirez, as a player, and uh, more importantly as a person, how do you wanna be remembered by fans here in Pittsburgh? Uh, you know what? Those two kind of doesn't go together. You know, when I was thinking about my hockey life, uh, if you want to accomplish something in the sport, or, you know, in any business, uh, it's tough to be a nice guy. Like I don't know if I explain it right. I don't, but there is something what everybody wants, you know, there's, there's something like to be the best, you know, to score the most goals, you know, win the Stanley Cups, you know, you, that's, that's my job. So when I had to drive, I didn't think I was a nice guy or, you know, I, that's what drive me. I want to be the best, you know, after a while, you know, when I had 30, all of a sudden, you know, to win something, I still love the game, but to win something, it doesn't mean that much to me, or it wasn't that important to me. All of a sudden, I want to be remembered as a, you know, great person, somebody who can help other people. You know, that's what I want to be remembered. The hockey, it's, it's going to be good. You know, it's just, you got, you know, you score a lot of goals, a lot of assists, you know, in the cup, in the medals, but, you know, what did you do for the others? You know, that's the question. Uh, before you before you die, or at, at least God's gonna ask you, what did you do? You're, like, what's, what's 
So I want to be remembered as a good person. Maybe I'm far away from the end, but I'm going to try my best. Jenna? Yarmir, how do you just put into words what today means to you personally? Uh, you know, it's a happy day, I'm going to say on one way. Uh, exciting day. Uh, to see the fans. You know, to celebrating together. To see my teammates, the boys from 90s, we want to come together. You know, and it's a huge honor. You know, not many guys was that lucky to to do something and uh, you know what you know work the, what you love and 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 appreciate it from the other people or get a trophy for that and it, it's it's a big honor for me that you know the organization decided to retire my jersey. Last one, Jenny. Did you achieve what you wanted to achieve as a hockey player? You said that you wanted to be at your best and be the best that you can be. Are you satisfied <coughs> with, with the, how things worked out? Oh, you know, once you satisfy with something, yeah, I think you're done. Like the, there's always has to be hunger to to be better and better and better. You know, and that's that's a that's the drive in in, in their life. Uh, and you know, I always compare you know, to me to the you know, animals in jungle. If you satisfied in jungle, you're dead. <laughs> you know, there is no. Oh, I'm sorry, you, you were good. You know, I'll be let you go. No, you're gonna somebody gonna eat you. So you know, if once you satisfied, I think it's 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 over. So I I, I don't want to satisfy anything. You know, I, maybe I'm not gonna get better, but I want to think I'm getting better.